Joffrey Renly Rob Stark are all thieves. They'll bend the knee or I'll destroy them. Hello everyone and welcome back with me, Grandmaster Sitch, where we return to our Duramadora playthrough. Where I believe we actually now have enough um, counties to create the kingdom of the Houseland. Which we actually do, which is perfect, but we do need 150 gold. So we're at 82 gold, so we're not too far off. A little bit of raiding or something and we should be able to create that kingdom touch which is awesome that's the first step that we want to obviously reforming our religion and making our people great so if we have a look at the faiths we only have one holy site at the moment but there are two close by out to the east which isn't too bad and one down here which isn't far away and we can actually take we can actually take that land pretty easily probably i wonder if we could even take that land now it's only one province here Clare War, we could try and subjugate all of that land and take it, which would give us that second holy site. That might not be a bad idea. We can create the kingdom. We need to get the money. How much manpower does this guy down here have? 1,181 men. We have 1,158, but we are uh, replenishing, and we'll have about 1,600 when we replenish. So let's, let's unpause while we um, have a look around, actually. At least then our armies are replenishing and our money's replenishing and we can try and see if there's maybe a better option to do. But that might not be a bad idea. If we can take that land, giving us everything down this side of the river as well, which is also good. Giving us a very good border to defend our land so we can look out eastward before we go westward to actually reconquer the lands that we want to get our holy sites. We could take these two provinces as well. And there's also this little area up here that we could take, which is... Surrounded by not uh, impassable terrain, so that wouldn't be a bad area to have so that we can raid in and out here. Um, it might not be a bad idea. How much does it cost us to subjugate? Because it normally costs you a lot of piety or prestige, doesn't it? Um, it'll cost us 500 prestige. That's not, that's not too bad. And he would become um, a vassal of ours as well. He loses 25% opinion of us, but that's not too bad. Do you know what? Yeah, let's declare war. Let's let's go for this claim. Just to get everything down here, it gives us a bit more man... Well, a thousand manpower if we uh, subjugate him. That's a lot of manpower, which we may need against our husband, who obviously owns the last bit of the Gabir land that we do want. The Slayer of the Snake. That's a pretty epic name, to be fair. But we can divorce him if we have to later on. If we have to, to get that land, or hopefully once we create the, the uh, kingdom title, maybe because he has a very good opinion of us, and he is our husband, you never know, maybe he will um, bend the knee to us and become our vassal. Um, we can lawfully imprison, we can call our allies, let's call up our husband. I do think and that's going to cost us a lot of prestige to do. We've got enough though, we will make enough prestige from winning um, this war as well as well as creating that kingdom title but we are going to need a bit of help I think I don't think we're going to have enough manpower without him we may just have enough manpower but it may make it difficult for us what other eight issues do we have apparently we've got some other issues that we can check through more allies the titles that yeah kingdom of house of land a load of wars some powerful vassals nothing yeah, nothing too much to worry about then at present. Let's... Okay, so enemy ally joins the war. Okay, so I may want to look into that. Resistance to conversion. Let's have a look. How much manpower do his two allies have? Who, who are your... Oh, one of his allies are our allies. We still have... Oh, wow. Yeah, we still have a hell of a lot more men. We have three and a half thousand. And he has less than two and a half. So we'll be fine. We'll be fine even with his allies. That's, that's perfectly fine. Right. Is this all of our manpower? Let's recover a little bit more. There's our husband's manpower. Yeah, let's just march directly south then and make our way down to this land that we are going to be taking. We're going to be taking all of this land as well, which is awesome. I'm sorry if there's a little bit of lag. I don't really know what's going on at the minute. I've never had any lag at all with the game so far. But then all of a sudden, recently when recording, I am just get, seem to be getting a little bit of sluggishness. So I need to look into that and see what is causing that. We have a hell of a lot of piety as well, which is awesome. Um, to reform our religion, how much do we need? Would we need two or three holy sites? To reform our faith, wow, it costs us three and a half thousand pieta, and we need at least three of the holy sites. That's not too bad. We'll soon have two of the holy sites, so 
it would be really cool as well if we could uh, reform our religion. Oh, are we going to get there in time to help in this battle? He, oh, it's very close. Our husband's armies are just winning. We are reinforcing as well as we march ourselves south, which isn't too bad. Um, pregnancy. A child is growing in my womb. My consort Mala will be proud. Good. Let's continue our march south. And our husband's um, host has just managed to win that battle just before we managed to show up. So we wouldn't have actually got there in time if he was losing it, which is annoying. But never mind. Right, so what have we got here? We've got several tribes. The main one being here, which is being raided at present, which isn't too bad. So let's march straight onto that. And we're not actually going to get a punishment for that by the looks of it, which isn't too bad. So, yeah, let's get our host down there. Let's get the capital under siege straight away. We're already at 10%, which is perfect. Uh, call to wars to the serene Majigio Adorama of Kabir. I call on you to honor our alliance and join me in the Kuken conquest of the chiefdom of Barma. Um, okay, so the enemy would be this guy who is... Okay, so... You're trying to take that little bit of land over there. Um, I'm a bit busy at present, so I'm going to have to decline, I'm afraid. This is a very important war for us. We're going to be taking a big chunk of land, getting a big chunk of manpower. We're going to get a holy site. Awesome. Hopefully, a nice bit of gold. If not, we can always go raiding afterwards. We're not too far off. We only need... Uh, we need about 60 gold, don't we? So it's not too bad at all, to be honest. We should soon get that. We're almost here. We can split our armies. There's a couple of... There's a tribe of Bonnie and there's a tribe over here. A tribe of Idamar. So there's a few places that we do need to get under siege. That's fine. We'll get the main place under siege at present. The capital. Maybe we can get some important hostages. That would be pretty cool. When our armies finally arrive. They are taking a hell of a long time to get there. I suppose we are going into the jungle now though. Um, right, so... Okay, it's only a fairly short siege. So... We'll leave all our men there. Hopefully our husband will decide to march off in different directions and take different lands. So then, then we can leave a small unit behind. But it looks like it's going to stay with us instead. So we'll just get this siege underway. And the enemy army is swirling around us with their 500 men. Is that a enemy ally as well? Yes, it is. But, um, yeah, it's not a great amount of manpower, is it? It's annoying that we can't just leave some men here because our husband's army's here. But... I know for a fact we'll march away and he'll follow us and then that'll be ridiculously annoying. Shawata comes of age. With her coming of age, my tuition of Shawata is at an end. With sufficient um, tutelage, even a child that has displayed little natural inclination towards administration such as Shawata can come to truly understand it, displaying a thorough understanding of the flow of gold and the wanderings of people. She even expresses a remarkably a creativity in dealing with these matters. So let's have a look at our daughter. They grow up so fast. 13 stewardship. That's not too bad. She's betrothed as well already. That's not too bad. She's turned out okay. And marriage, your son, Boa and Isia. Perfect. Um, so our son is now married. Right, is this going to fall soon or what? And we've been called to war by... I call on you to one of the alliance and join in the Gabir conquest of the chiefdom of Daramir. Enemy, let's have a look at you. Is this actually going to expand our borders? Because that's pretty cool if so. Yes, it is. Up that river. So, yes, dear sister. I will definitely join you in this war because it's going to expand our own borders, which obviously we want. We want to expand as much as possible. It's even better when your um, vassals and such try to do that. It works out great for us, of course. It's going to fall yet. Yeah, it's taking a hell of a long time to siege this. Then again, our husband's army is destroying some of the enemy army, so that's good. At least we're going to get a bit more war score there. And we're now... There we go. Perfect. The siege is done. And we captured... Oh, wow. We captured the daughter of um, the chief of this tribe. So that's even better. Let's march down to the tribe of Bonnie. Get that one under siege. And then there's only one more left to get under siege. If we can split our army, that would be perfect. My daughter, for every birth, it gets a little easier. Yet, I never cease to be amazed by the intensity of the experience and my own strength. Once more, I have brought forth a new life to this earth in the shape of a perfect little girl. Who will you become? Well, not Shawata, obviously, because we've already got a Shawata. Have we named a daughter after us yet? Have we got a Dora? Um, a Dora, I'm sorry. Um, Shawata Dora, Fatim Dora, Banadora, Sarkin, and... No, so let's let's name her after us. Let's have a Dora Madora. 
and we gain 75 prestige from that as well which is awesome because we we are lacking a little bit of prestige right can we station some besiegers and let's march the others up to the tribe of adamos so that we can get both of the last baronies under control let's forward things along and get this out of the way a little bit quicker if possible our husband's army look like they're marching to siege that as well so that works even better in our favor task finish sarkin gadi garin of um Sokoto finish the increased control in county task perfect so we can send him now to do that somewhere else we've got a couple i think that need um our control improving so let's have a look yes we have this tribe over there so let's send him over there to get that one underway perfect and on pause let's continue to get these lands under siege this one looks like it's going to fall pretty quickly the tribe of bonnet so that's good although there is an army marching south to try and lift the siege but our husband's army looks like they're chasing them off so that's fine we're at 65 percent now as soon as one of these other provinces fall hopefully that will give us enough to win this war uh, mismanaged population um chieftain of dora gained mismanaged population for five years oh perfect thank you very much steward and is that our capital that's under siege no no it's not it's a different land ah okay it's the army fighting against our sister we'll be there to help you out soon we get free gold for winning a siege we're at 99 percent. that is so annoying when that happens right so let's march this army over there can we enforce demand? Sometimes you can get away with it at 99%. No, will not accept. Fair enough. Um, the law of language. Um, ruling the multicultural high chiefdom of Gabir comes with its own set of challenges. Foreign subjects often feel alienated when they cannot speak their native tongue in court, breeding resentment. My vassal Sarkin suggests that I could significantly improve relations with my Igbo subjects by learning to speak their language alongside my own. Why bother? Um, Houser is clearly a superior. We gain 150 prestige. Hire a tutor to instruct me. We lose 50 gold and we gain stress. Time to hit the book. Nope. Hausa is clearly superior. We gain prestige and I can't afford to be spending gold. We want to be able to create that kingdom title as quickly as possible. So I'm not going to go for that. Oh, well, now we're going to lose some men against this enemy armor. How long till this siege is over? Because that will literally win us this war. And Inadora increased learning by three. Room to rule. Perfect. And how old is she? She's only three. So that's perfect. There we go. This war is over. N force demands. Perfect. Um, victory. Greetings, my liege. May you live in harmony and contentment. You are much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. So be it. Perfect. Right. So, gives, and our glory is widely known as well, which is perfect. It gives us a thousand men there. Um, we've got an empty council position. Right. Let's march our armies. Oh, that's a pretty big army up there. Let's march our, let's march our men to our capital for now and then we can reassess we've got some calls to war um who are you foreign ruler declined sorry bit busy right can we let's go on to our council we need a new steward do we have anyone decent at wow we do shawatadora our daughter now 17 she was only at 13 stewardship not long ago so she's just got a hell of a lot better um collect taxes increase development hmm. promote culture collect taxes we could do with a little bit more money just till we at least get that kingdom title created hopefully we can get a bit more manpower as well Let's raid some more men. Oh, four men. That's not a lot. I was expecting to get a little bit more because of the new lands that we've now taken, but unfortunately that's not too big. Um, we can ransom. Oh, wicked. Yes, we can ransom someone for 10 gold. Do we have... Do we have didn't we have any... Um, some other prisoners, actually, in the last episode? Let's have a look. Um, yes, we have a few. Can we... No, we can't ransom you. Can we ransom you? Only for a weak hook, that's fine. And can we ransom you? We can ransom you for free gold. Well, every little bit of gold helps, I suppose, doesn't it? That'll mean it's so we don't need that much. There we go, we've gained a weak hook. Uh, greetings, my liege, I accept the ransom offer. Perfect. And that one's accepted as well. Gives us 112 gold, so we're not too far off. 115 gold. 
35 more coins to go and then hopefully we'll be able to create that kingdom title which is going to give us a lot of power and prestige which is awesome this army is pretty strong though i'm a bit worried about this armor are we going to have enough manpower to take it down? Why did our sister declare this war? Because it looks like she's literally got no chance of winning it. Is this our husband? Yes, it is. Let's call him. Call him into this war. Make sure. And he's going to help us as well. Perfect. We are going to need his help. As I don't think we're going to be able to beat this army without him. Let's get all our men together. See how much manpower we do end up having here. Um, Conquest of Chiefdom of Igbo. Okay, we're the defenders. Again, ah, get, we're being attacked. Ah, okay. So it's a war that our, Lee, um, our new vassal already had going. That's fine. Okay. So, right, we've got 1,600 men. Let's merge together. And we're trying to take this bit of land here, aren't we? So let's march. Let's march around. I don't want to march straight through that other host. We'll go straight for their capital to end the war quicker if we can get that under siege. So let's forward things along as we swing around there as quickly as possible. Lost a siege, which is not good against that other war. We don't want to be losing our new lands. At least we do have those two holy sites now, though, which is awesome. Right, there we go. Let's. I think we do anyway. Let, let me just double check. Yes, we do. Perfect. We now have two holy sites. That's perfect. Right, this siege is going to last seven months. Wow, that's a huge, huge siege. And we've just lost that bit of land there, which is well, which is not good. But if we can, no, no, no. If we can get this under siege quickly. Let's station besiegers and send the other 1300 off to lift the siege of Kabi. We are known for our dedication to our faith and we've got a new perk to spend. Let's have a look. So accomplished forger, fabricate claims on county speed plus 75%. That's awesome. Inspiring ruler. Um, we could go for one of these instead and get monthly prestige per powerful vassal on the council plus five prestige. Now let's go for the accomplished forger. Let's try and finish this tree here and become a diplomat. Right, let's lift the siege on this bit of land here. Why is that army... The 1300 armour should be here. And the 400 armour at the seat. Why is our army not splitting all that? So annoying. Right. Merge together. Station besiegers, and then the bigger host march off. Thank you. Right, they are my, making their way to our capital, though, which is not good. But as soon as we get their bit of land under siege and lift this siege here, that's going to be fine. That will give us enough to win, but we are losing quite heavily, which is not good. So we need to get this siege over with pretty sharpish if we want to... Uh... Wow, that's 71% now. That's not good at all. And while we're doing this, we're got the other war oh no and now we're we're losing at a minus 100 percent because our sister is completely incompetent okay a flaw of character once i have departed this world my son and heir bawo shall rule in my stead unfortunately rumors of bawo's utter lack of morals have been spreading around my court it makes me wonder if he will manage to retain my vassal support once i'm gone attempt to um rectify bawo's flaws um he might overcome his flaws talk of his good qualities instead focus on myself and lead by example no, let's go for that. Let's try and get him to overcome his flaws. And now we're going to need to send our host off elsewhere. Bauer has agreed to let me mentor him, even though his enthusiasm is somewhat lacking. I fear his vices are deeply set, but a truly eye-opening experience might make him realise his folly, uh, the folly of his ways. What should we do? Venture into the streets and talk to the poor. Um, own up to a misdeed and make it right again. Bauer will hold court in my stead. Forgive someone who has done wrong, uh, who has done him wrong. Let's venture into the streets and talk to the poor. Let's see how that works in works for him. And yeah, we know that we've lost in that war. That's fine. A flaw of character. When I observed Borrow's performance his, uh, of his assigned task, doubt slowly crept upon me. He did not struggle to put himself in the shoes of those less fortunate and feel for them. And he seemed to learn nothing from the exercise. I will give Borrow another chance and perhaps I should change my method. Then, um... Forgive someone who has done him wrong. Let's see how that goes. Uh, the floor of character. Baro and his sort of lack of morals are driving me mad. Despite my best efforts, he has no he's not made any progress. How is our son looking? Wow. Very intrigue focused, which is interesting. Considering how his mother is. Right, let's march south. 
and try and end that war down there. We've got to get that one. At least we only need 25 gold now, though, which is awesome. And a valuable hostage was captured in the war. Perfect. And a betrothed can marry uh, Shawatadora, our daughter. Yep, send proposal. Excellent. Yeah, so now we just need to get down there and finish this war off. She's fine now that we've captured that host. All we, uh, prisoner. All we should have to do is lift this siege here. And that should signal the end of hopefully this war. And then hopefully we'll be able to create that kingdom title at last. Okay, so we've lifted the siege down here. We've got to lift this other siege. Let's put a commander in charge of this. Let's go for our champion here. And now let's go for their capital. We're at 50% almost. So that should end that. We only need 20 gold as well. Which should... It would be a lot easier to get if we weren't at war. But hopefully we'll be able to end this war very quickly, as I said. So let's just forward things along and get that underway. I want to get this title, Kingdom, created so that we finally have our house and land. And hopefully then we can subjugate or offer vassalization upon our husband. And hopefully he will accept. We've got a good relationship, so you never know. I don't think he will. But there's always the chance, so we'll, we'll wait and see. This siege is about to... There we go, perfect. 100% enforced demands. It pays us 10 gold as well. Perfect. We now have enough money. Let's disband all of our armies. Perfect. And now we should, should be able to. Uh, oh, we've got, uh, we need to do a designated guardian for our child who's got six learning. Wow, that's pretty decent. Have we got anyone with decent learning? Ourselves. So, yeah, we'll take you on ourselves. And now let's create. Oh, we've got, we can create two kingdoms the kingdom of igbo buone um i don't i'm saying that completely wrong i already know that but let's have a look what kingdoms are ah, we can create this kingdom down here as well how much does it cost to create that one the same that's pretty awesome so let's we'll go with the house land of course though so let's create the title uh, kingdom of the house land perfect you are a mighty grand magijiwa perfect and it's so cool that we can now create another kingdom which will get us closer to being able to create an empire so, can we get our husband? Can we offer vassalage? Yes, we can, but he will not accept because he's at minus 25 base reluctance. Um, he's de jour vassal. Difference in your military strength. You're a different culture group, and his opinion of you is 30. Mm, ah. That's annoying, but it's not much, there's not much in it. We could try and sway him. Started to... Yep, um, can we... Is there anything? think else that we could do to try and win him around we could divorce or oh, that will lower his opinion of us mm. he's got more manpower than us then again our manpower might be fairly equal now when once it replenishes um is there anything else that we can do apart from creating that other kingdom um too many duchies high chiefdom of uh right okay we could give one we can give these away now though can't we so we can go to our sister for example um and grant her the which one was it that she was she was the high chiefdom of gabir the high chieftain of gabir no the that one's our one isn't it um yes the high chieftain of gabir let's grant that title to her your vassal Shawata now holds the High Chieftain of Kabir. And then we've got... Oh, she owns Kebi as well, does she? Okay. Our half-sister. Ah, yeah, she used Zert, didn't she? I was going to say, do I really want to give her two duchies, though? I'm not sure if I do want to do that. What other duchy do I have? Is it one down here somewhere? Um, What other duchy do I have? Let's have a look. Grant titles. The High Chieftain of Kabi and the High Chieftain of ah okay yes we can give it to this guy down here now that we've subjugated him now that we're a kingdom we can grant you that title back grant title high chieftain of uh igbaland grant title is perfect it's going to increase his opinion gets rid of the duchies that we had too many of um va powerful vassals expect a position on the council let's have a look are you any wow look at you with your 32 learning um let's offer you a ward you can have yeah let's send our daughter to you send proposal and are you good at anything else that we could get you on the council 14 marshall 
Not really. Do you know what? We could make you... No, that's our sister, though. So let's get rid of that for now. And who's the other guy that wants a council position? You. You're not very good at anything, to be honest. But we will end this episode here now that we have created that kingdom title guys so thank you all so much for watching feel free to leave suggestions down below on what you think we should do with our husband how are we going to get him under our control um i really hope that you enjoyed today's episode please don't forget to like and comment down below and hopefully i'll see you all very soon for the next one